Okay, folks, it's Mike, and this is going to be a different video. Um, this is a different journey now, a different excursion. So, found out today that I tested positive for COVID. Um, currently, um, uh, the only things I'm really feeling right now is just a little fatigue, um, kind of achy, don't feel any, uh, I'm not having any cough, no sore throat, uh, no runny nose, uh, no chills or fever. Um, uh, Michelle, she is, we're just pretty much keeping away from each other. So I'm kind of like the, uh, leper on Molokai. Um, what I want to do is, uh, I think I probably got exposed to it at work on uh, Tuesday um, and that's after Michelle had left for uh, Nashville Thursday I actually did a hike to Pine Barrens Pine Creek Barrens Nature Preserve and I felt fine there it was about a three mile hike and then yesterday um, after we were kind of aware that there might be some kind of COVID stuff with me, um, I did a solo hike uh, about four and a half miles. And uh, let's see, Thursday night, I slept on my couch and didn't get really good night's sleep. And not because of COVID, but because um, I didn't turn off the Christmas lights and with my eyes shut, I could still see those blinking lights through my eyelids. And so, uh, I didn't have any of those seizures. Um, last night I slept in our extra, in the cat's bedroom, which is our spare guest room. Um, so what I'm going to do is, let me see. So if I think I was exposed to it on Tuesday... Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and today's Saturday. This will be the uh, fourth, fifth day of me having it. Michelle is going to get tested on Monday. And I just wanted to give you all kind of a play-by-play -play on each day of dealing with this. We're not leaving the house. Um, we're just going to keep busy doing little house projects. Um, and laying around because uh, I am kind of fatigued, watching a lot of TV. Um, oh, who knows? But anyway, we've got a lot of good friends and family that are going to get some stuff and pick them up for us and leave them at the front doorstep. Um, oh, also heard just a little while ago that uh, Charlie Pride, he passed away from COVID. So, um this is a serious thing. Um, I'm just hoping that we have a mild strain of it because um, I'm not really feeling awful. And I hope it doesn't get any progressively worse. Uh, I worry about my residents at work and I worry about my coworkers. And I uh, hope we'll all make it through this. Uh, and I'll get back with y'all. Uh, with some more updates, okay? Y'all hang loose. All right, take care now. Morning, everybody. It's day two since I tested positive for COVID. I'm still in bed. We went to bed maybe around 10 or 11, and I think it's around 9 o'clock right now. Um, Sleep-wise, did okay last night, just... Um, really couldn't get comfortable. I mean, I'd lay there for a second and, uh, just my, from the waist up, just feel kind of like got in a fight boxing match with Mike Tyson. Um, no sore throat, no runny nose, just, uh, fatigue and achy. And I'm drinking lots of fluid. Um, yeah, sleep-wise, I could probably lay in one position for about a half hour, maybe a little longer, and then it would just feel uncomfortable, so I'd have to move again. Uh, 
uh, other than that, um, I, I guess I did get enough sleep. Went to bed maybe around 10 or 11. Actually ate some wings last night and uh, had some oven roasted veggies. Um, yeah, I'm kind of hungry right now. But I'm going to get up, make me some coffee, and start the day and keep on moving. I'm hoping the shell's okay. And, uh, yeah, this is kind of a sucky thing to deal with, but just wanted to give you all an update. Day number two, or actually morning number two. Uh, we'll see how this day goes. See ya. So, it is, uh, the last video I did was at 10 o'clock this morning. Right now, it's about 8 o'clock this evening. And I have been planted on this freaking couch all day. I've been trying to at least move around um, every hour. I mean, of course, I'm going to go to the bathroom. Um, been drinking a lot of fluids. Uh, took some vitamin C, vitamin D, and some zinc. Um, how I feel now. Right now, and basically all day, I have just felt some just major fatigue. Uh, just really tired. Um, not really so much aches and pains of my muscles, but it's just like this very tired. Uh, and I still have no respiratory issues, no runny nose, no fever, no chills, um, no sore throat. Um, I'm hoping, I mean, I don't know what, what the best thing to do is, but I, I'm, I'm really trying to make myself move uh, at least every hour and get get the circulation going. I'm drinking enough fluids. I just want to get this crap out. <clears throat> um, and I think everybody uh, that gets this, it's going to be a different way how this virus affects everybody and i know that it's affected somebody some people in a really harsh way and some people maybe not so much but either way it, it's it's not an easy thing um let me see what else uh, michelle michelle and i have been distancing um i've been sleeping in our guest room we've been wearing masks N95 masks. Um, she actually went out and uh, went for a walk, which lucky her. She went for a walk and did how many miles did you do? Almost four. She did almost four miles. And in the meantime, uh, she had ordered some uh, groceries from Myers and they delivered them to the door. And the lady was so nice that dropped them off. Um, and also, at that same time, uh, Ruthie, Michelle's sister, she had brought over some, uh, what is it? Some, some oatmeal cookies and some, uh, tortilla chicken soup, chicken tortilla soup. Yum. So I was, oh, and spaghetti and meatballs. I had some pork earlier and some pickles. That's about it. I sound pregnant, but, um, so that's that's the way it's going right now. I've heard from some people at work, and of course, you know, I worry about my my people at work. Uh, they mean a lot to me, and uh, I know a lot have tested positive, and I know the work that we do with our residents, and I know a lot of our residents have probably tested positive, and I worry about them immensely. Um, but. We just got to keep on going forward and let's uh, do this and I will get back with you all and give you all an update uh, as this unfolds. So this is day number two after uh, I was uh, deemed positive. So yesterday was day one. Today is day two. Although uh, today is what, Sunday? Although I think it was probably uh, Tuesday, the day that... I'll pick that up. But you all hang in there, all my co-workers, and let's just do the best for the people we care for. All right. Take care, you all.
morning it's uh, day three of covid or since i tested positive for covid i had me a restless sleep last night but i was able to get some sleep uh just restless because it's just the aches and pains so this morning i plan on taking a good long hot shower just for the aches and pains and then i'm gonna try to do some stretching just to wake up some of those sore muscles and um we'll see what happens there um yeah just still just the fatigue and the aches are my main symptoms nothing else michelle's still doing fine um still don't know she's still gotta get tested um she says her back hurts but other than that she's doing she's doing well so uh knock on wood hopefully she doesn't have it and just maybe pulled her back from uh getting christmas stuff out the other night and um what had have i been doing been on that couch in the living room um so i will displace myself from this bed and get on that couch but i uh scanned a bunch of old slides from the uh some slides that my dad took uh, from back in the 60s and uh, there's little projects I can work on just uh, it's just this fatigue is really presenting a huge wall to motivation so I just gotta fight through it and I'll give you an update later when uh, I'm up and around well that was cool Charlie the right there he just dropped off some uh, beef stew that he and Margie made. So, there we go. Thanks, Charlie. We got really good friends and neighbors and family bringing us stuff. All right. I think I might have to eat some of this because I just weighed myself earlier and I'm down to 153 pounds. I guess the price I have to pay. Well, <laughs> um, all right. Michelle's heating me up some food, and uh, there you have it. All right. Well, I had a really good hot shower and uh, made my muscles feel a lot better. It was good to stand in that hot water and just cook. And then Michelle just uh, made me some of Ruthie's soup heated me some up that Ruthie brought over last night so that's great we got Ruthie bringing over some food some soup and then Chow Lee he brought over that beef stew with some artisan bread Whew. all right time for me to eat I'm kind of hungry I still have my uh, taste and my smell senses here I go Okay, I'm gonna get up for a second so I can show you all what this has been home base for the past three days. This and the bed just haven't really gotten out of this room. Um, not roaming the house because I don't want to spread anything. Um, been working on little projects, uh, pictures videos and been watching <laughs> death wish is that a good thing to watch right now um and there's lg i'm still getting those symptoms of just that fatigue and not really getting any chills or any fever but um yeah just achy and feeling that fatigue i've talked to some of my co-workers and and uh they're feeling a little bit more, so I'm praying for all of them. And uh, luckily, I think Michelle, hopefully she dodged a bullet. We're just trying to really stay away from each other. This is, uh, COVID's definitely nothing to be taking lightly. Because uh, even with what I have, I think older folks uh, could really be impacted with this. Um, yeah. Of course, it kind of gets in my way of doing my outdoor stuff, but 
Just gotta feel this firsthand, so uh, it is what it is, and we'll get back to things uh, when we can. Um, just thinking about everybody who's dealing with all this, it's, it's a rough thing. Okay, folks, it's day number four. It's a little after 10 o'clock, and I'm still in bed, just, just this fatigue. And uh, last night's sleep was just um, kind of achy. And you know how it is when you can't sleep and you just start dwelling on the aches or dwelling on stuff. Uh, that's what is happening. So um, just having some weird dreams. I'm going to try to motivate out of this bed. But uh, day number four. Since I got the positive test, whew, um, it's still not letting up. It's still uh, fatigued and achy. Uh, no other symptoms, though. All right, here I go. So it's uh, Wednesday today. Woke up this morning feeling okay. Uh, about maybe 9 or 10 o'clock, and then uh, about an hour, hour and a half later, I'm back in the bed, and it's probably 3, 4 o'clock, and I just feel like I got hit by a Mack truck, so uh, this ain't no joke, yeah, just in and out of sleep, and uh, just so fatigued and achy. But I got my friend down here with me. It's LG. All right, come nap some more. Okay, folks, it's uh here's another update. It's uh six day. It's Thursday today, so it's six days after my uh, positive result from the COVID test last Friday. Uh, I don't remember what I filmed yesterday yesterday was just totally start out as a good day and then next thing I know an hour later I'm immobilized all day and all night <clears throat> um, yes yeah, I was, I was uh, feeling slight fever just more body aches and some severe fatigue um, Michelle's been a trooper trying to get me to take a bunch of fluids which I comply. I'm not the best patient in the world, but she is uh, the best caregiver <clears throat> that I can say. Um, and everybody else has been very supportive. Um, I've been checking my OT sets, uh, staying above 95, 96. My, um, let me see, my, uh, I've dropped. To about eight pounds I'm down to 150.5 um, probably gonna get something to eat here in a little bit did take me a good hot shower just a little while ago feel a little better yesterday whew, that was a rough one uh, mostly just cuz I mean I was just completely out of it from fatigue um, trying to think if there's anything else yeah, I can't say enough for Michelle. She's been doing a killer job <laughs> checking on me. And I know I'm just like, oh, the shit patient. But um, I'll keep you all posted. Hey, folks, it's Mike. And it's uh, Friday, December 18th. <clears throat> a week uh, since my uh, positive result on my COVID test. And so it's been, it's been an interesting journey since last Friday um, see what can I tell you today uh, I'm feeling a lot better yesterday I started feeling really well well not really well but feeling a lot better uh, Wednesday was a tough day I mean I was laid out all day in bed and just in and out it almost seems like in and out of consciousness um, yesterday I started feeling better um, Ate a little bit, and Chow Lee, I was able to finally have some of your beef stew. It was delish. So speaking of that, uh, I do have to say thank you again to Chow Lee for bringing over that beef stew. And got to thank uh, Ruthie for bringing all the 
care package packages that she brought over when this all started coming down and uh and that was really just uh helpful and then uh yesterday also uh, our friends uh michelle and glenn came by and brought over a big wonderful package and it kind of worked out at the right time too because uh like yesterday i was getting my appetite back and uh they had brought some of these uh chocolate chip and M&M cookies and I really hadn't eaten anything all week so I uh, had some of that after I had Chow Lee's uh, beef stew um, let me see um, oh and neighbor our next door neighbor the Flynn's they uh, have been uh, there for us every day offering it uh, to go to the store if we need anything. Of course, Bob says, uh, asking me if I need any beer or bourbon. <laughs> but uh, I don't think we need any of that right now. Uh, <laughs> and uh, also, too, uh, early on when uh, this first went down, Michelle uh, placed an online order with uh, Myers, and we got a big old grocery package from them. That, that worked out really great, too. But... Um, yeah, okay, so yesterday I started feeling better. Uh, Wednesday was horrible. Um, yeah, yesterday was a little better, and today I feel even better. So um, I don't think I'm really ready enough to get back to work, but I'm anxious to get back to work. Um, and it looks really nice out, and I'd love to get outside, but I don't want to push myself. So. Um, I'll keep you all posted on my progress. I'm hoping uh, the progress of my coworkers, and my uh, residents uh, who have tested positive, hope they are faring pretty well and not having any bad symptoms or bad issues. So you all hang in there and I'll keep you all posted on the what's left, hopefully of what's left of this uh, COVID journey for me. Oh, and by the way, uh, Michelle, she uh, she went and got her COVID test last night, so we'll find out Sunday. And do want to thank you all for uh, watching this, and uh, thank you all for all your all support, uh, your prayers, your thoughts, and and everything else. Love y'all. Good morning, folks. It is Saturday, December nineteenth. And I've just woken up and uh, giving you a little progress report on myself. Um, feeling a lot better, still improving. Um, yeah, still feel feeling a little better than I was was yesterday. So it seems like every day I'm getting a little better and better, but I'm still feeling that uh, kind of fatigue going on. And I am getting a lot of rest, drinking a lot of uh, Gatorade, a lot of water, and um, watching a lot of TV, which I hate being a couch potato. Um, having my little friend here. Uh, this little friend. What are you doing? She's been hanging out with me. Um... Michelle is still uh, staying away from me, and rightfully so. I'll feed you in a second. Let me finish this. Um, what else can I say? Um, my brother, Pat, he got the COVID vaccine. Um, my stepbrother, Bruce, he got the, uh, the vaccine as well. So I think it's... Uh, that whole vaccine is trickling down into healthcare. Um, yeah, looks like a gloomy day out there. Um, I guess I'll be resigning myself to that couch for a little while. Yeah, I don't like this inactivity. I wish I had a little bit more strength to get outside and do something or actually do a little moving around. But um, I don't want to overdo it and uh, kind of kick myself back into the bad throes of uh, COVID. So uh, thank you all for keeping us in mind and uh, thanks 
Ruthie for coming over and dropping off that special package yesterday. Um, I'll keep you all posted uh, if there's anything else that comes up later on. And uh, you all hang in there as well. It's kind of getting rough with all this COVID and who knows what. So we're thinking about you and thanks for thinking about us. All right, you all. Today is uh, Sunday the 20th. And uh, the status of me with this COVID business, I think I'm probably at about 75% on my way back to, uh, you know, 100%. I'd like to get back to work soon, but I want to make sure uh, I don't bring anything to my coworkers or my residents. Uh, but I am feeling a lot better, uh, sleep, sleeping a lot better. Uh, Actually had uh, plenty of coffee and uh, Ruthie made some rum cake, so I had that for breakfast this morning. Um, Michelle, we'll find out uh, about her COVID status today or tomorrow. Um, what else did I do? I checked on uh, unemployment for the two weeks that I've missed. And... Um, let me see what else. Anyway, uh, I am feeling a lot better. I do need a haircut. I'm getting a little antsy. Uh, been working on a lot of crossword puzzles. Um, have a few other projects I'm working on. And uh, I've been in contact with some of my coworkers. And I'm glad to hear that uh, while not really out of the woods, they're doing a lot better better and uh i'm hoping my residents are doing faring the same so uh i think let me see what time it is about one o'clock hmm i might have to make me some lunch uh y'all take care if anything comes up i'll let you know like i said today is uh sunday december 20th all right Hey, good morning, folks. It is Monday, December 21st, and I think this will probably be the last, well, this will be the last video of my COVID journey. It's been nine days uh, trying to do a video each day of my progress, and today I think I'm well enough uh, to maybe venture out of the house. My quarantine is officially over today anyway. Um, I think I think I'll probably be in contact with work, about getting back to work and making a little bit of money. Um, just got to thank everybody, including Ruthie, for bringing all the good stuff over, taking care of us. Uh, well, Glenn and Michelle bringing some stuff over. Our good friend, Chow Lee, our next door neighbors. And I appreciate all the uh, thoughts and prayers and phone calls. And uh, most of all, uh, got to give Michelle major kudos for taking care of my sick ass this whole time. Um, we've uh, distanced in this house, and luckily her COVID test came back negative, and I'm so happy about that. Um, other than that, I'm feeling, I mean, I'm still feeling a little fatigued, but <clears throat> overall, I'm feeling better. I'm ready to get the heck out of this house and get back to doing what we normally do, run around the woods and whatnot. Um, I guess just in time for uh, Christmas to get over this funk. But uh, my thoughts and prayers for everybody who's still dealing with this COVID business and uh, who's had anything uh, bad happen during this COVID business. Y'all hang in there. Uh, let's hope for a better 2021. Take care, y'all. Thanks.